Welcome back to Making Food Monday. Since it's almost Christmas this week, I found a very easy last minute dessert recipe we can put together. This one is crescent roll apple dumplings. For today's recipe, we are going to need crescent rolls, apples, apple juice, butter, nutmeg, vanilla, cinnamon, and brown sugar. And that should be all we need for our recipe today, guys. The very first thing I'm gonna do today is prepare my apples. I've got four of these fairly large green apples. I honestly don't know what kind they are, but they're green. I'm gonna be peeling them and quartering them. my sear roast function and get that started. And right away I'm gonna add about four tablespoons of butter. There's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. And as soon as that melts, we're gonna go ahead and turn that off. Then I'm gonna add half a cup of brown sugar. There's half a cup of brown sugar. One teaspoon of cinnamon. One teaspoon of cinnamon. And we'll give those a good mix, all those mixed together. Then I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of nutmeg. I'm not even gonna add enough to measure. I'm just gonna kind of shake a little bit in there, like that. And I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of vanilla. Half a teaspoon of vanilla. And we'll give that a mix one more time. Make sure we get all those flavors combined and good and melt it together. And now we're gonna start to prepare our dumplings. We're gonna roll out our crescent rolls and then we're gonna wrap our apples in our crescent rolls. Just like that. And then we're gonna kind of pinch it around the sides and hide all of the apple. Just like that. Ta-da. Now that we have our apple dumplings ready and we have our cinnamon sugar mixture in here, all we're gonna do is lay our apple dumplings in that yummy sugar mess in the bottom. Uh, the other thing is I don't think I'm gonna fit all of mine in my pot. So I'm only gonna cook eight at a time because that's all that will fit in the bottom of my pot. So what I'm gonna do is cook these and then I will cook the remaining eight. I'm not gonna use water to build the pressure in my pot today. Today I'm gonna use apple juice. So I'm gonna take my apple juice and I'm just gonna let it go around the sides like this, around the sides of my dumplings. That's gonna add some yummy apple flavor to my sugar mixture at the bottom. And that's it guys, we're ready to seal up our pot. Now I'm gonna drop down in here to my chicken function because that's my high pressure. I'm gonna take my time cook down to just 10 minutes and get it going. Hey guys, my time has expired and I have let my pin drop naturally, so I'm gonna go ahead and open my pot. Ooh, these smell so good. I can't wait to see if they taste good. And there we have it guys, crescent roll apple dumplings. Okay, Jax, I've got it made and it's plated. Now we need our guinea pigs. Do it. Guinea pigs! That one looks guinea piggish. That one's Dad, weird. I want to go first, please. And the daddy pig. Uh, who thinks that smells good? Me. me. Who go thinks first? that smell smells like Christmas? Please, can I go first? I think it smells like Christmas. Um, thank you, Dad. You get to go first. Oh, seriously? <laughs> Ooh, fluffy. He yeah, almost has getting this one's barbecue sauce. Looks like fun. barbecue sauce. Yeah. It seems to me like you'd put barbecue sauce with your apples. Why not? What is it? Mmm. 
Oh, that's good. Is that okay? Oh, you know what made this a million times better? Ice cream. Scoop of ice cream. I know, I was thinking that. We should have had some vanilla ice cream. Wow, this is good stuff. Daddy didn't get us any while he was at the store. It's all his fault. Mm. The um, crescent roll, that's so good. I like that it's all buttery. And then you get the apple and the cinnamon caramel. Barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce, the mia <laughs> Um, Oh, it's really good. It's a really good dessert. It's really warm and it's a Christmas, Christmas dessert. Yes, nice. definitely. Oh, that's really delicious. Sweet. How many mm -hmm. thumbs are you going to give that? Mm. That's really good. Mm. Thanks, Dad. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Who I should go one. next? Oh, well, then I guess you better go next, Mr. Christmas Colors. <laughs> Do you like that barbecue sauce? Super sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I like the barbecue sauce. Yeah. So, what do you think of that? Is that a good dessert? Yeah. It's it's the best. It's in second place until the monkey bread. Monkey. Ooh, you didn't even remember the monkey bread. You're silly. <laughs> uh, you like that though, then, huh? All right. How many thumbs are you gonna give it? tasty there's absolutely nothing wrong with the recipe except that I tried to double it and in my infinite wisdom I forgot to take into consideration that the sauce would go with the first batch and then there wouldn't be any sauce left for the second batch so if you're gonna make a second batch just go ahead and remake the entire sauce that goes underneath it and it should work out just fine the flavors are really good the apple juice works really well for the liquid that you need in the pot to build the pressure the recipe turns out super tasty. This one is amazing and it's super fast and easy. So this one definitely gets two thumbs up from me. Everybody liked it, but I do recommend not forgetting your vanilla ice cream because that really would have put it over the top. So points off for daddy, but the recipe is really good. Apple dumplings. Yo. Yes? yes. Should we have these again sometime? Yes. Yes, they're so easy and they're so fast. Yep. I do not recommend doubling your recipe unless you're going to make two batches because you have to make a second batch of all of the yummy cinnamon stuff that goes in the bottom. So don't double your apples and your crescent rolls unless you plan on doubling everything and running two batches because they don't fit in the pot at the same time. Um, I learned that lesson the hard way. You could put this entire recipe into a pan and put it in the oven and it would work just as well. In fact, it might work better because the the crescent rolls might actually come out buttery and crispy on top. Uh, but I really liked it in the pressure cooker. It came out super quick and easy. And uh, I don't have any complaints about the way it turned out because I thought the texture was actually really nice. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it would be bad in the oven either. Uh, but this one was really tasty, really easy, and surprisingly good for as easy and quick as it was. But for now, I think I better just put my smarty pants to bed. 
Yeah. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Or make this channel strong. Share it with your friends. And now, good night, YouTube. See you tomorrow. If y'all subscribe, please subscribe now. Please got to touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. Boo! Apple dumplings are a big yes, Mom. You like them?